guess now it's time for me to give up. I feel it's high. Whatever I did, whatever I said, I didn't mean it. I just want you back for good. Want you back. Want you back. Want you back for good. Hi guys, this is how to play Back For Good by Take That, really uh, famous and popular song and when it was first released it knocked a song off number one which was uh, Love Is All Around, this was back in the 90s and uh, Love Is All Around is exactly the same chord sequence as well so I'll also show you how to play that one. But this is going to be appropriate for everyone on my channel to follow this one, uh, you will be able to play it, I'll show you a slightly easier version with the strumming but with these chords with a capo at third fret. We're also going to be covering something called 16th strumming where we strum 16 times in one bar, so one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a uh, as a count. So let's get you straight in for a close up. We've got a very repetitive chord sequence, as I say, don't let the strumming bit scare you. Um, and let's give this song a go. Back for good by Take That. So that is the intro of the song with the 16 strumming I was talking about. The vast majority of the song has this same chord sequence, which we're going to cover the chords and then just play with it on the beat so that most people who follow my channel can play this song. So we start off, we have a capo at third fret. If you don't have a capo, don't worry about it. You won't really be able to play along to me because it won't sound very good, but I definitely recommend getting a capo. That's how the original is played, so that's what we want to be doing. We have a normal D chord, proportionate to that capo, so this capo is now like our zero fret, first fret, and we make our D chord from here. One, two, three, and if you have your thumb just creeping over the top, you may wish to just have it taking out this thickest E string so that we can uh, strum all the strings, sorry. And that thickest one isn't heard because if we do this, kind of sucks, it doesn't sound very good. So if we strum all those and have your thumb there, it sounds good when we strum because when I strum I'm actually hitting all six strings and it sounds totally fine. So we have a D chord, but two beats. We have an E minor 7 and we'll want to keep your third and indeed little finger down to get the authentic sound of the record. So we've got one, two, three, four. Okay, quite hard to get ringing out with your thumb quite low like you just saw then, but if you hook your thumb, thumb uh, quite high, it becomes much more, uh, much more easier. There's contact here on the guitar, but there's no contact. My palm isn't touching here. It's, there's just a bit of contact there. And that should nestle in there quite nice. And then we've got a G chord with third and little finger. And here's where you'll see some variations on the, the chord sheets that we look at. We've got um, a D straight to an A chord, or I've even seen it A sus4 to an A, but I really think go for the D chord and then straight for A and if you want an even easier version because this chord sequence repeats so much throughout the song just go for the A so super easy D E minor G and A whatever I did whatever I said I didn't mean it I just want you back for good want you back want you back want you back for good. So that's D, E minor with your third and little finger down, G and an A. And if you can repeat that then fantastic. To nail the sound of the record it's D and then A, D for a beat and then A for a beat. Whatever I did, whatever I said, I didn't mean it. And a D, A, and then it repeats, so quite fast. Watch back for D, A. You know, that's, that's not giving you a lot of time, but that is how you want to play it 
for the vast majority, every verse, the intro and the chorus as well, there's just a slight variation uh, in the bridge that we're going to go for. To make the strumming a little cooler, eighth strumming is a great thing to do, just eight sol downs, one and two and for each chord, one and two, E minor, seven, G, then, and one, two, three, four, for the last one, or oh, three and four, and that should technically be, so just the demo from the top again to avoid confusion. E minor, one and two and three and four and one, two, E minor, then a G chord, D, A. And if you can play along to me doing that, essentially you can do this song. Let's have a quick go at this in one, two, three, four. A D chord, E minor, seven, G, D, A, D. Watch you back, G and D, A. Whenever I'm wrong, just tell me the song and I'll sing it. It's a D, A, D. Really struggling? Just finish on the A. So after the G, G, then an A, D, E minor, G, and A. That's what you want to do. If you want to really show off with those down strums, just catch the up strums that you're already doing. So if we have one and two and one E and a two E and a. up, down, up, down, up, down, up, it would be one E and a two E and a per chord. And that's it. After got a fist of pure emotion, got a head of shattered dreams, we got a B minor chord, which you can play if you take your A chord, standard way of doing it, one, two, three, move your first finger up a string and your third finger down a string, we have a B minor seven chord, which is fine for this. And after that, we're going to an A, so this is even better. So we've got to leave it, got to leave it all behind. Whatever I said, okay, so that was B minor. Gotta leave it. That's an A chord, a G, and then to an A. On the chord sheet I'm following, it says B minor slash A, which if we were doing it this way, all we want to do is give this B minor chord an A root note, just by letting that A go with your first finger. So gotta leave it. Gotta leave it all behind now And then we're back to normal Whatever I did, whatever I said I didn't mean it I just want you back for good I want you back, I want you back Say I want you back for good Cool thing is, this chord sequence is also I feel it in my feet I feel it in my toes. Now, if you want to play that particular song, you'll want to do it without the capo, actually. So um, that one's just in normal tuning, along to the Trogs version. Sound absolutely great, both songs. That one has a little bit more to it. I'll stick a chord sequence down there in the description as well. But quite cool to get two songs, the whole thing here. There's just one more part to this song, if I just scroll down on my chord sheet here. It's the middle eight of the song, occasionally called a bridge for you guys over in America. Uh, we're just going to go for the standard G chord here. This is for the... And we'll be together This time is forever Okay, so we've got a normal G chord and then we're going to go for the D chord but have your thumb 
on that second fret on the thickest E string. Actually press it down and try and get that ringing out if you can. This is just a little extra bit to really nail the whole song. So it's a bar of each, so three, four from a G chord. One, two, three, four, D slash F sharp and G. This time is forever. And then we got E minor. We'll be fighting and forever we will be. That's the D slash F sharp again. And then we got a similar move to before, B minor. So complete to an A chord, standard G chord. We will never be on D chord in A. Following this particular chord sheet, they put a few more chords in there than I would have, but uh, it, it'll be fine for us for now. G7, so from B minor, so complete, so complete in our A chord, a G chord, D slash F and A. And if you're just kind of having a, a sing along with this song, and that, that middle eight gives you so much trouble, you know, stick to the, to the main song, you can have a play and sing along to that. No one tends to miss middle eights when you're doing a slightly shorter version of the song. Main riff. Is definitely what, it, what it's all about. Trying to get this 16 strumming if you can. Stick into eights if you can't. And check out 16 strumming a little later on in your guitar development. So that was how to play Back For Good by Take That and this song is at level 4 of my free beginners course available at andyguitar.co.uk. We've got real songs showing you uh, all the basics of guitar right from your first chords up to being able to play a vast repertoire of songs and these are the song options at level 4. So if you enjoyed this video and you found that you could do most of it and follow it then you can take on any of these other songs and to get the latest updates please subscribe so that you get all the latest videos as soon as I upload them and I'm sure I'll see you again in one of those videos. Bye bye for now.